Welcome to Drivewise Cars. My name is Stephen, and this is our beautiful 2011 Mini Cooper convertible, finished in hot chocolate metallic. The mileage on this one is just 24,443. It's had one lady owner from new, and it comes with the benefit and reassurance of a fully documented service history. The specification on this one includes a pepper pack, 16 inch twin spoke alloy wheels, chrome line exterior trim pack, a twin spoke leather steering wheel, heated front seats, rear parking sensors, and also a wind deflector. So without further ado, let's have a closer look around, shall we? We'll start off at the front, and if I could uh, just draw your attention to the radiator grill and the air intake grill underneath the front number plate there. As we can see, they're all nice and shiny and bright. Well, that's part of the chrome line exterior trim pack. So now we'll come down to the near side or passenger side. There's one of those beautiful alloy wheels. And coming down to the rear of the car, thankfully, there's another one of those beautiful alloy wheels. And as we come round to the back, underneath the rear bumper, if you can just spot that black trim, that's where the rear parking sensors live. And there's four of them in total. And then just above the rear number plate, where the boot handle is there, you can see that too is all nice and shiny and bright. That's also is part of the chrome line exterior trim pack. So I'll just pause a moment here so we can appreciate those beautiful clean lines. As we slowly make our way back to the front, just where we started from. One of my favourite colours is hot chocolate. I wonder why. So that's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside. So we'll pop the driver's door open. Check out the door card, make sure that's in good order. And it most certainly is. Not a mark on there. And pan over to the interior. We can see we've got beautiful grey cloth upholstery. The driver's seat is height adjustable, just utilising that lever there. And there we have the twin spoke leather steering wheel. So I'll just pop inside, make myself comfortable, and we'll see what else is going on. So just above the steering wheel, we've got the rev counter. And if I press that button, you can see we've got a digital speedo and just to confirm the mileage for you it's 24,433. Next to that we've got the open ometer if I pronounce that correctly that just lets you know how many hours you've had the roof down. Then coming over to the center of the dashboard we've got the traditional mini speedometer with all the buttons there to adjust your favorite radio stations if I press that, to be the key this child there we go. About so we can see we've got Later lots of different options there. Tired. Underneath that, oh, sorry, switch that off. Underneath that, we've got the CD player. I'll just switch the engine on and then I can show you how the heating and ventilation works with it all the tools. That's better. So coming to the heating and ventilation, on the left hand side, we've got the fan speed. On the right hand side, the temperature gauge. Here we've got little buttons so you can direct the air and then underneath that we've got a heated rear window that's the air conditioning button once it's green it's on and fast steam is for those cold winter mornings. Speaking of cold winter mornings you might just need these. We've got a heated driver's seat with three different settings that's the driver's door window switch, front and rear fog lamps a manual switch if you want to lock yourself in. That switch there is for the rear electric windows and the passenger electric window. And finally, the heated seat for the passenger, just like the driver, that's in three different settings as well. Below that, we've got stop start facility, just there. Twin cup holders, a six speed manual transmission and sitting just below the all the switches there. We've also got a USB and an auxiliary port as well. I'll just close the door and then we'll see how the, the sunroof works. So sitting just above 
the rear view mirror is the master switch there for the electric roof. So if I press that, oh, the other way, Stephen. That's it, you can hear it whirring. Over it comes, clicks into place. There we go, what did that take? 10, 12 seconds. As we can see, the mirrors have gone up as well. Once the mirrors have gone up, it's finished the cycle, so you're safe to drive off. But one thing that you can do with the convertible on a Mini, if you just want a little bit of airing, just pull the lever back. There we go. So you can drive around with part of the roof open, which allows more ventilation for you. And if you want to put it all the way down, just press the button again. You can hear the windows go down. There we go. And once the windows come back up, there we go, that's all finished and you can drive away safely. Just switch the engine off and then we'll see what else we've got to look at. So, if you want to let passengers in the back, you can do. On the back of the seat, there's a lever, just put your hand there, lift, and the seat scoots forward and you can let your passengers alight just in there. There's uh, two rear seats there. We've also got the wind deflector and that's just there to keep the wind off the back of your neck. Fold it down, lift it out and store it in the boot. If you're carrying passengers, if not, just leave it there. Also get a bit of a parcel shelf there as well, which is quite handy too. Coming round to the rear now, to the boot, to gain access underneath the handle, just press that button, you can hear it, lift the boot down and you've got access there to a rather large boot space. Um, as you can see, you can fold either of those rear seats down, which gives you greater flexibility as well. So you can store awkward things if need be. Lift that back up and then we'll come back down the near side, the passenger side, just pop the door open. Check out the door card as we did on the driver's side. That is absolutely beautiful, as is the passenger seat as well. And not forgetting the, the passenger, that too is height adjustable, just utilising that lever there. So, in summary, it's better. Here we've got a 2011 Mini Cooper convertible, finished in hot chocolate metallic with just 24,443 miles. It has a fully documented service history, a pepper pack, chrome line exterior trim pack, twin sport leather steering wheel, heated driver and passenger seat, and a wind deflector. So once I finish the video, our team will come in, they'll cover secure the interior, so it's all safely ready for you to come and inspect. My name is Stephen, thank you for watching our video, and I look forward to speaking to you very soon.